All right, guys, so you might have seen a video or two with a few shots of this new raft that we got here. Haven't formally introduced it to the channel yet, and I'm not really going to just yet, but we did get a drift boat raft. This is a Stealth Craft Hooligan XL. I'll link them down in the description below so you guys can find them. We will have uh, other videos going in depth with this raft, kind of showing all the setup. But this video is going to be specifically for, it's like a, a rod holder. So this raft actually comes with a rod holder setup here. And let me just show you what that is. So this raft with the build out that we got, um, we got the rod, the rod storage with it, um, which comes with that back rack. Um, you basically lay your reels on this side. They lock into these little foam pads here. They go down through these tubes and uh, they actually, if they're long enough, they'll go out the back and be away from uh, you know, hitting anything. So, kind of just show you that real quick. Put it right up in there and lock that down. There she sits. So that was something that I really wanted for this because we're going to be fishing with multiple people in this boat. You know, mo most of the time it's going to be two people, but we are going to fish it with three people. So, and this is not a very big boat, so storage is key and uh, you know, maximizing what you have for, for storage options to get gear out of the way and make it more efficient. This can hold five rods right here, so, um, and it works really well, but the only problem is, the only person that can really get into this easily is the front, the front person here. So, um, that person can, you know, pass a rod back or, or whatever needs to happen. Even the rowing seat, you can get it in there. And in fact, what I do when I'm rowing, if I'm by myself or just with one other person, what I end up doing is not even using the tube there. I just rest it right on the back and then I can still lock the rod in there if I want to, but I just kind of rest it like that. Um, and I, it's not, it's not the best situation because you can lose it. You know, if you go over some rapids or, or something happens, somebody knocks something out. You know, if you want to carry like a nymph rod and then a streamer rod, and you want to, you're only going to use the streamer rod like in one section of the river or whatever, you can keep it tucked away all day. And when it comes time to use it, you can pull it out. But if you're switching rods back and forth, like really frequently, um, it makes it a little bit harder, especially for the guy in the back to do that without having you know rods all over the place so what I want to do is basically make another one of these for two rods facing the other direction on the other side of the raft so this is what I've come up with I've watched a few videos of other guys doing it so what I did first was I went to the hardware store picked up two 10 foot uh, inch and a quarter electrical conduit and that's what we're going to use um, and now we got to kind of find the placement of where we want these on the raft so we can mark where our bend is going to start. You can see right now that they stick out beyond the front of the raft, so we're going to have to find a point there, mark it, and bend those. Kind of like my finger. That's a whole nother story. We're going to kind of cut these out so we can start our rod in like somewhere up in here so it'll be easy to get in and out. Alright, what I'm going to try to do is, I'm hoping this piece of wood's big enough, but... Uh, I'm going to take this, lay it on the raft here, where that contour kind of is, and then just trace. So, that's what we got. <laughs> So I built this little jig thing here and I filled up this tube as you saw with sand and that's basically just going to fill up all the space inside of here so when I go to bend this hopefully it's not going to get too bad of kinks in it. It'll keep it nice and uniform shape all the way around the corner without getting a nice little kink on the inside but you know, we might get a little bit of that bending action there but I'm going to try to do my best, go slow, see if we can bend this uh, the right contour and this is so I came up with for my little jig here. I put a nice rounded piece on the corner so it'll make a little, you know, so it's not a sharp 
piece driving into that. So let's try it. We'll see, hap see what happens with this. A little bit of a dent, but that's all right. Not bad at all. So what I'm doing now is putting multiple bends in this pipe to kind of follow the contour of that duckbill on the front of the raft. As good as I'm going to get it right there. So now we just got to bend the other one to match it, drain all the sand out of here, dump it into the other pipe, and then send it. So that's what they look like there. I'm pretty happy the way those turned out. So Now what we got to do is cut a notch in these so we can get the rod in there. And I've kind of measured it up. I sat on the rower seat there, measured up, and figured the notch has to go down. From Starting from the top, I'm going to have a four inch gap, and then it's going to be a four foot opening uh, that we're going to have to router out. So we'll uh, kind of mark that up right now with the straight edge, and then we'll get to cutting. There's one all done. So one thing I did have to do was widen it out near the end so I could get the butt end of the rod that's usually a little bit bigger and the reel seed in there. But then I kind of narrowed it up a little bit more right here just to hold the rod a little more secure. But there's one. Just got to get the other one done. All right. So now what we got to do is put kind of line up line up the ends here, and we're going to run a bolt right through these. Um, so it'll hold the back together and also give us a mounting point for our bungee straps. One of these tarps, tarp bungees through there. Another tarp bungee through this one. And then we run these up through the middle of this. I got this idea from somebody else, so... I did not think of this, but it's a good idea. Just like that. All right, so now what I gotta do is, because I don't wanna run a strap over the top of, of this section that's open to hold this together, I gotta make a strap that will permanently kind of latch these two together. So, spray those in so they don't come apart. We're going to put a hole in our strap with this hot nail so it doesn't fray or come apart so we can run a rivet through it. So. Just like that. You get a nice hole there. It's not going to fray on us. All right guys, so we finally finished it. It's all done. And uh, this is what I kind of came up with here. We'll kind of just show you it real quick. So what I did was I riveted on some of these uh, knockoff NRS straps and uh, riveted on the back. That's what holds it to the rowing frame here. Uh, we put that support in the middle there, riveted that. This strap, I think we'll probably hold this down. Um, and then the front, we put another strap and that just hooks to the handle up here on the front. And now all I have to do is get the tip in there, slide that right down, this fits right in. You slide your rod in, get it in there, slide it back so the the butt section holds there and you take these bungees wrap it around hook it right on that washer there it's nice and secure not going anywhere perfect anyways guys that's a really cheap option 
if you have a raft or a drift boat and you want to add a little bit of uh, rod storage there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.